Hi everyone, today we will do a little poncho for kids. First we will cast on the machine by putting one in the front, one in the back, starting with the black needle. When you did your first row, you open your yarn feeder, put your yarn inside, close it and just crank. Casting with waist yarn helps to close the tube at the end, it's easier. So I put my waist yarn, I cut my waist yarn and put that in the middle of my tail and I put my new yarn project. I just open the yarn feeder, put it the same place that the other one was and just crank it. For this project, I will need three tubes. So we have to make twi uh, three times the same thing. So I did the 200 row. That means you need three tubes of 200 rows. I cast, I cast off with waist yarn. I did just add the yellow and put the, my yarn project the tail in the middle and I continue to crank like for three or four rows cut my yarn my yellow yarn and it continue like that to remove by itself now I put my machine aside stretch my tube and I will join both sides by doing this you wrap one stitch one side, one stitch the other side. So you're closing your first tube. You will have to do that three times. I did a mistake during the video. I I saw all my uh, tube both sides and I be better just sewing one side and fix it at the end but I didn't but I will show you how to fix it. So if you do the same thing as I do I will show you how to fix it at the end so don't worry. So I continue like that, grab one on the side, run in the other side. Make sure you grab all the stitches because if you lose one, you're going to have a drop stitch. And sometimes it's not fun to try to get it in the project again. So I arrive at the end, I go slowly because I want to grab every stitches. Almost there. We'll use the tail to close it like this. Now, time to remove the waist yarn. Just pull on the yarn. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's not. It's depending if it's the first, if it's the first, if it's the beginning or the end of the machine. Remove everything. I check if I didn't lose any stitches. I'm good. So I do the same thing to the other side. I keep my my pink yarn for next time. Now it's time to put my tube flat on the table. Hide some tail. Like that. And after that, I have to make sure that my uh, tube it's not twisted because if, if it is it won't look great when you get the tube together and you have to follow the same line when you sew so take the time to stretch your tube and make sure it's not twisted almost done Now 
You will see during the video that I put a couple of parts very, very fast. But when I do that, it's only to show you that I did it. But you already seen it like slower, so you'll be okay. So don't worry. And the video will come back normal. It's not going to stay that fast, don't worry. So I just close. Almost done. Sometimes uh, some stitches could be very tight. You could use a um, a loom hook like I did right here to grab the stitch it help loosening up a little bit there and close the tube so you do that for your tree tube and I will show you how I sew it together. There is different way to sew tube together, but the one I chose today is the one I, I choose for today. Maybe another project I will do something different. Almost remove all the yellow. Hey, all gone. hide all the little tail and it's time to sewing all the tube together so I do all the tube and now I will sew it together just do a little slip stitch there start in the corner I grab two stitch and I will finish with one grab two I go in the middle of the the stitch it's like a V it's the middle of the knitting uh, stitch like this grab two and with my yarn I will just go and do one stitch so I will do that till I get to the other end of the tube. I know it's a it's a time consuming, but it will worth it at the end. You will like it. My little girl really really like her poncho. But today it was very too warm to wear it for sure. We are in the middle of the summer, so I grab two. Fix a little bit my video camera and one. I will uh, go a little bit faster, so don't worry. Sometimes it get hard because the the yarn divide, but I will go and continue so for this project I choose to sew it like this I'll go a little bit faster and you will see what happened when you use different yarn, same numbers of rows. Ta-da! Look what happened. They all have 200, 
but it's okay I'm gonna fix it the trick is to take a, a wool needle a yarn different color and you just grab half of the stitch you stay in the same rows same row but you just take half of the stitch with your needle you will see better when I switch the other side that's why it's going very fast because we don't see anything la I will slow it down and you will understand more what I said half the stitch it will prevent losing stitch when we will do the terrible thing of cutting our work yes you heard me we will cut it always make sure you choose the length of the smallest one to to your tube to be like the smallest because you can row the smallest to be big uh, if you had another piece but we're not so we will remove a little bit of it we'll do a little bow to attach it together it's the same size now so I close my uh, pink yarn with a bow and I will cut it with nice scissors Oh my god, I cut my work. There, I remove everything. You have to be careful not losing any stitch. Almost last one here. Just grab in time. There. And close my tube again with my cro not crochet but my hook number four. Like I do usually. Grab one in the side, one in the other side. So you will fix your other tube that is too long, like this tube. And when you finish that, you'll be able to give a new shape to your tube to, to be a poncho. Wish to work fast like that, <laughs> I could do a lot. I use my uh, loom hook to get the stitches that are too tight remove the pink it's all done now and grab my last stitch and close that too I know it they are not attached it's because my sewing uh, yarn is the other side I'm just gonna hide this tail and I will flip my uh, work the other side to continue because when I saw that it was not the same length I stopped come back to the right side remove all the yarn dust and we'll continue sewing it together grab two finish with one grab two 
finish with one. And there. There you go. Hide it. Ah, it's true, I have another one to, to cut. So I will go very fast with this one. There. Time to give a shape to my poncho. I, I do a big triangle like this and I will sew the two middle one together. I put one on top of the other one. You could choose to put the, the right side in front or the left side in front. Doesn't matter. You do what you want. So I will do a knot. Keep a long tail on it so that way it's easier to, to hide at the end. I didn't do like a very fussy uh, part right there. I just sew it like one one side and the other side. Just to keep both together. Stop mo moving. I noticed that the, the pale blue is uh, more stretchy than the aqua one. So we'll use some uh, markers to keep those two pieces together. Because I'm scared that it move. There. Put one at the end and one in the middle. Those are very handy to use. And easy too. So I just go one inside and the other side. bit closer just to see I pull on my yarn to make sure that everything is secure I do small sewing stitch so you can see the pale blue in the aqua they are very very close And here I will make sure it's very tight. I will do a double knot over there. Remove my marker and attach it together. I did in the two layer. There. This part is done. Now I will do invisible sewing. I grab two in the side, two in the other side. And I follow the same line all the way. Because if you don't, it will not look great. There you go, I put it a little bit faster and I will pull on my yarn after. You will see how it's gonna hide the yarn. 
see very nice so I continue I will do that for at least 10 inches 26 centimeter for the one who likes centimeter almost there it to the place I want pull a little bit on my yarn it's done just a last check yes it's done I will hide some little tail I still have at the beginning So it's time to check for a new button. Almost done. Turn it. All I need now is nice button. I use a uh, a lot of different yarn to do this uh, poncho but you will that way you see with the different color that it's three piece so I will try maybe the white no I will choose the black black is great I like those those I use it to sew little button when they have a small hole in it that you can sew with a regular your needle I use that uh, that little thing that sell at the, in the pharmacy so we'll put one there and one halfway I could put four but two will be okay I'm going there Those buttons are nice, they're no little old, and my uh, favorite needle work well with it. So I do a, a big knot, maybe a double, a double, yes. And I will hide it in the blue. Blue in the blue. Almost finished. Hope you enjoyed this video. Took me time to make it because I work a lot lately. I'm very tired, so. <laughs> You're lucky today I didn't get too tired yesterday so I have a, a little bit more energy for today. So I put my other button halfway in the middle. They will be cute. I did between the two layers. Ta 
Ta-da! It's done. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and put a little thumbs up on the channel. Ciao, ciao!